Good day, wonderful students. It is another learning time. I am Mr. Nokoya S.O. I will be your accounting teacher for today. Our topic of discussion is government expenditures and personnel cost budget. Introduction. Remember that when we treated public sector accounting, we mentioned the various sources of government revenue and how they are being accounted for. Today's topic will take us to the various items government can spend its revenues on, how they are categorized, and various terminologies that are used for them. We will also look into how budget for government personnel and employees are accounted for. Therefore, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Differentiate between the various classes of government expenditure. 2. Expatiate on the meaning of the various terminologies used in government expenditure. 3. Prepare personnel cost budget. Government expenditure can be defined as the sum total of all expenses of the government. It can be classified into 1. Capital expenditure. 2. Recurrent expenditure. Capital expenditure. These are expenditures of capital nature. Such expenditure has a long lifespan. It will be used by the government for a long period of time. They are expenditures which add to the value of fixed assets. They can either be general capital expenditure like building, road or rail construction, building airports, etc., which are for general use, or special capital expenditures like buying of motor for president or governor, furniture and equipment for specific purposes. Recurrent expenditure. These are the costs of running the day-to-day -day activities of the government departments. These are wages and salaries, transport, maintenance of buildings, purchases of drugs for hospitals, etc. It comprises of A. Personnel cost, B. Overhead cost. Personnel cost comprises of personnel emolument of those employed by the government. These are basic salary, rent, transport allowances, etc. Overhead cost comprises of the day-to-day -day expenses of general nature and include general repairs and maintenance of utilities. Terminologies used in government expenditure. 1. Head 2. Vote 3. Warrant 4. Environment 5. Voucher Head is the number given and restricted to each item of government revenue or expenditure for the purpose of allocation of revenues and control of expenditure. Under a head, there are various subheads which relate to the head. For example, personal emolument is a head. Subhead under it can be basic salary, rent allowance, tax deduction, etc. Votes. This is the term given to the allocation of money made to a head. For example, if personal emolument of a staff is 50,000 naira, the head is personal emolument, the vote for the head is 50,000 naira. Warrant. This is the document that serves as authority for a government employee or accounting officer in the government to spend a particular vote for a head. Government officials cannot withdraw money without authority. It has various names depending on the purpose it is to be used for. It can either be general warrant, statutory warrant, environment warrant, or contingency warrant. Environment a government official does not have the power to transfer an unused or excess vote allocated to a particular head in the budget to another head which vote has been exhausted. If it is done, it is called violent, and it is a punishable offense classified as misappropriation of fund. If there is any unused vote for a particular head that is planned to be used for another head, such a government official either prepares a supplementary budget to cater for the extra expenses or seek for approval and be given a environment warrant. For example, 10,000 naira was budgeted for repairs of motor vehicles and 12,000 naira was allocated for purchase of furniture. Assuming repairs and purchases are different heads, if the amount spent for repairs is 6,000 naira and remains 4,000 naira extra, and the money for purchase of furniture needs extra 3,000 naira. A government official cannot literally spend the 4,000 naira of repairs on the furniture. It is violent and it is a punishable offense. Vouchers. A voucher is a document showing evidence of receipts or payments of money into or from the government accounts. There are various types of vouchers. 1. Payment vouchers. B. Receipt vouchers. C. Adjustment vouchers. D. Stores issue vouchers. E. Store receipt vouchers. 
Let's go for a short break. When we come back, we will make attempt to prepare a personnel cost budget. You are welcome back. Let's take this question. Record in journal form the entries for the payment of salary to Mr. Ojulari, a level 2 officer taking into account the following information. A. Salary per annum, 18,000 Naira. B. Housing allowance of 30,000 Naira of basic salary. C. Transport allowance of 250 Naira per month. D. Car loan repayment of 215 Naira per month. E. Tax at the rate of 15% of basic pay. F. Water rate at 1% of basic. G. Repayment of advance of 15 Naira per month. Solution. You need to first calculate all the allowances and payment of Mr. Ojulari per month. His basic per month will be 18,000 Naira divided by 12 months, which is 1,500 Naira. His housing allowance will be 30% of 1,500 Naira, which is 450 Naira. His task rate will be 15% of 1,500 Naira, which is 225 Naira. His water rate will be 1% of, of 1,500 Naira, which is 150 Naira. The journal entries will look like this. Debit side, basic pay, 1,500 Naira. Housing allowance 450 Naira. Transport allowance 250 Naira. The credit side of the journal will have car loan repayment 205, 215 Naira. Tax rate 225 Naira. Water rate 150 Naira. Repayment of advances. 15 Naira Cash 1,595 Naira If you do it very well, the debit side of the journal should total 2,200 Naira while credit side should total 605 Naira The difference of 1,595 Naira is posted as cash The cash figure is the net monthly pay of Mr. Ojulari, while the total of 2,200 Naira is the gross pay of Mr. Ojulari. Let's take another short break. When we come back, we will solve another question on personnel cost budget. Welcome back. Let's take another question. The Department of Human Resources of Ojiku to local government has the underlisted staff positions as at 31st December 2019, as recorded in this table. Post, Director of HR, Assistant Chief HR, Senior HR, Grade Level 15, 14, 10. Number in post, 1. Two, four, basic salary two hundred thousand, one fifty thousand, sixty thousand. Note: A. All employees are in the first step of their salary. B. Note the following allowances in the table: grade level twelve and above, housing allowance twenty four thousand per annum. Transport allowance eighteen thousand per annum. Grade level eight to eleven. Housing allowance eighteen thousand per annum. Transport allowance twelve thousand per annum. You are required to prepare the personnel cost budget for the department. Solution. 
Your personal cost budget will have seven columns. Column one is for post. Column two is for grade level. Column three is for number in post. Column four is for non basic salary. Column five is for housing allowance. Column six is for transport allowance. Column seven is for total. The first post is director of HR. The grade level is 15. The number in post is 1. Basic salary is 200,000 Naira. Housing allowance is 24,000 Naira. Transport allowance is 18,000 Naira. And total is 242,000 Naira. The second post is assistant chief HR. The grade level is 14. The number in post is 2. Basic salary is 300,000 Naira for the two persons. Housing allowance is 48,000 Naira for the two persons. Transport allowance is 36,000 Naira for the two persons. And total is 384,000 Naira for the two persons. The third post is senior HR. The grade level is 10, the number in post is 4, basic salary is 240,000 Naira for the 4 persons, housing allowance is 72,000 Naira for the 4 persons, transport allowance is 48,000 Naira for the 4 persons, and total is 360,000 Naira for the 4 persons. If you do it very well, the total of basic salary should be 740,000 Naira. Transport allowance column should be 102,000 Naira. Housing allowance column should be 144,000 Naira. And the total column should be 986,000 Naira. This is where we are going to stop for today. Assignment. 1. Differentiate between votes and head. 2. Expansiate on the term environment. 3. Differentiate between gross pay and net pay. Thank you for listening.